Hi everyone, my name is Melissa, and in this video, I briefly want to introduce the extended date table 2.0. I first shared the code for this M function in April 2020. Since that time, there have been a number of requests and updates. The most recent release of version 2 has resolved some inconsistencies in field names and value formats, but also includes some new functionality. So where can you go to get the code for this specific date table? Well, the first place is the Enterprise DNA Forum in the M Code Showcase category. So let's take a look at that. So the forum, of course, is accessible to everyone, to both members and non-members. If you happen to be on the forum and you see my badge, you can also click on that and you'll find the extended date table is the featured topic there as well. So you can use this hyperlink to get to this topic as well. Just copy the code that you see here. So select everything all the way to the end. Control C to copy. Let's go back to Power BI. Open the Power Query editor. And add a new blank query. Now I've already done so. So just I'm going to select that, open the advanced editor the window, select everything you see here, and paste in the code. Press that. This returns a Power Query M function that you can invoke. The second place where you can go to get the code for this date table is the Endlist Hub. To access that, you do require membership to that specific platform. So let's take a look at that as well. Just search for PQ semicolon extended and you will find the code for the extended date table here. Also see my username. Now you can copy it from here or view the document first and copy the code right here. Let's go back to Power BI and the advanced editor. Again, I've already added a new blank query. I'm just going to select that, open the advanced editor window, select everything we see here, then paste in the code. Press that. So instead of a function, this returns a record that includes the most recent version as well as the deprecated v1 and a changelog. If you wanted to use the new function, just click on that or drill down into it, or you can also right click that white space here and add it as a new query that will retain the record. So this is one way. And the other way is just by clicking on that function that will drill down into it and add that navigation step here. So let's X that out. That will return the record. Perfect. Links to both these resources you'll find below in the description of this video. Let's also take a look at the meaning and function of each of the parameters. So the start date is a required parameter, and that will be the first date in your date table. The second and final required parameter of this function is the end date. That signifies the last date in your date table. Your date table should always span full years and cover all dates from the earliest to the latest date present in your data set. The optional fiscal year start month number allows you to set a fiscal year start month. This will add fiscal years, quarters, periods, and weeks to the date table. Note that fiscal weeks will always start on a Monday and can contain less than seven days in a first or last week of a fiscal year. However, if you omit this parameter, none of the fiscal columns will be added to your date table. Holidays is an optional parameter to pass a list with holiday dates to this date table. It enables a Boolean filter called is holiday, but will also impact fields is business day, day type, and relative network days. 
weekday start number allows you to change the default weekday numbering from zero based, so zero to six, into running from one to seven. Add relative network days allows you to include a relative network day column to the day table. That's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. All the best. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators. Uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.